It's time to go green with Green Leaf Kratom. Shop at GLKUSA.com for a user-friendly experience and the highest quality Kratom products on the market. We source only the finest quality, naturally grown Kratom directly from Indonesia so you know you're getting the best of the best. Our strain guide is the perfect resource to find which strain works best for your body. Incredible savings, secure online shopping, and same-day shipping are just some of the great benefits you can expect when choosing Green Leaf Kratom. Get started today and discover why we're changing how people shop for Kratom. For a limited time, Green Leaf Kratom is giving away a third bottle free for every two bottles of capsules, powders, or flavored shots. Be sure not to miss out. It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Tuesday, the 19th of September. I'm Michael Groff. Dry conditions, temperatures gradually trending down through the rest of the week. We will see some periods of high clouds and breezy conditions at times, but that's about the only sensible weather we'll have. When might we actually get some rain chances? Well, we'll talk about that and everything else as we dive in here. First, the almanac from yesterday, 103 degrees, the afternoon high. 78 that morning low, and that's pretty much in line with the averages of 178. By the way, today is the last day where the normal high in Phoenix is 100 degrees. Now, that doesn't mean it magically turns cooler after today, but just a sign that fall is right around the corner. Outside now here just after 10 o'clock, clear sky, 88 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew point at 41, humidity 19%, light wind, the barometer rising. The upper-level weather pattern across the nation features a trough across the northeast. We've got a ridge of high pressure here over the southwest, but it is flattening out. The flow is, is turning more zonal here in response to troughing beginning to develop over the Pacific Northwest and just off the west coast. And that's going to mean temperatures do trend down, and that trough will remain to the north of Arizona through the rest of the week before lifting out by this weekend. The watch warning map is incredibly quiet for this time of year. Really not much to take a look at here. The convective outlook, we do have a marginal risk or a slight risk, the standard risk of severe storms over parts of Texas, Oklahoma, the marginal risk for the adjacent states. But Arizona, very quiet. The tropics in the Atlantic quieting down a bit. We still have Hurricane Nigel out there. And we are watching the eastern Atlantic for possible development down the road. Nigel, this is in the middle of nowhere, and it will stay in the middle of nowhere. This is just going to sit out there. Be a hurricane for a while, drift off to the northeast, actually race off to the north northeast and curve more toward the north. This will be somewhere south, southeast of Iceland uh, several days down the road. But again, this will not impact the United States or any major landmass at all. Closer to home, the precipitation outlook valid through Tuesday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, nothing statewide, basically nothing. It's that post-monsoonal time of year. Probably won't see any more rain for the rest of the month, and that means we will close out officially in Phoenix with the driest monsoon ever, and much of the state will be in the top 10 for the driest monsoon, with the exception being the Colorado River Valley. So, let's get into the details of this forecast now. To do that, we'll explore the models, have a look at it. This is the GFS, the 06Z run valid 2 o'clock this afternoon. Troughing beginning to develop over western Canada, the Pacific Northwest, the flow turning more zonal here, westerly flow. So what it all means for us down at the surface for today, mostly sunny sky and seasonably hot highs, 96 to 100. Tonight, clear sky, overnight lows, mostly in the 70s. Tomorrow, oh, let me show you this before we go to that. The, these are the forecast highs coming off the NDFD for this afternoon. And again, you can see um, mid 90s to around 100 for the deserts, mid 70s to 80s for the mountains. Then tonight, lows in the 70s. Tomorrow, more of the same, carbon copy, except we'll start to see some clouds coming in later in the day. High temperatures uh, generally still in the mid-90s to about 100. By Thursday, some clouds around, partly sunny, troughing to the north of us, precipitation to the north of us. We're on the southern periphery. We'll be breezy, locally windy at times, especially over the deserts of Southern California, across northern Arizona. A light breeze here, high temperatures mid to upper 90s. Low to mid-90s by the time we get to Friday. We're going with a high temperature here in Phoenix of 93. And uh, there are some of the desert spots may not even get above 90 on Friday. Beautiful day, really, for late September. And that's going to set the stage for a nice night Friday night. Saturday morning, you wake up, most of us down in the 60s. And I'll tell you what, maybe even the remote deserts out there could dip down to the upper 50s. 
So that'll be a little taste of fall with that very dry air still in place. But for Saturday, high temperatures will climb back into the mid 90s, upper 90s by Sunday, near 100 degrees next Monday. Each day, the sky will be mostly sunny. The air mass will stay dry. Now, here's a week from today. This is Tuesday, uh, the 26th. Got troughing over the Pacific Northwest, Western Canada. Around here, a ridge trying to build in high temperatures, I would say probably at or maybe just a shade above seasonal averages, somewhere from about 96 to 101. Going out 10 days this is kind of interesting. Thursday, the 28th, 594 ridge trying to nose back in here. And if that's right, temperatures would get pretty toasty. We could have highs well over 100 once again. So as mentioned, for the last several days, we're not quite done with the triple digits yet. Yes, it's a light at the end of the tunnel, but it's it's not quite over with, sadly. All right, looking at rainfall for Phoenix off the GFS Ensemble out through the 3rd of October. Yeah, basically nothing. And temperatures off the national blend of models. It looks pretty nice, actually. Highs dipping down into the mid-90s, maybe even low 90s by Friday. And then we'll warm it back up by the weekend and next week. Highs once again close to the century mark. So nothing crazy out of bounds, just a little bit above average here for late September. And that's it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions and suggestions. And if you really like these videos, click that little thanks icon below the video and make your monetary donation, your contributions to this. If you're able to do so, two dollars, five dollars, five hundred dollars, whatever. It all helps the cause, and it is so appreciated. The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion, my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and proprietor of sweetchildaz.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name. I'm talking about my Michelle, so check her out. Thank you guys so much for watching. All of your continued support, it is so greatly appreciated. Please be safe, stay cool, stay hydrated out there, and you guys have yourselves a terrific Tuesday. Tuesday.